Hello, welcome to Brian and Asia's cooking show, or Asia and Brian, or, I don't know, it's Asia's channel, Asia and Brian's cooking show. Hey everyone, we're Hey everyone, back. welcome. We're back with another cooking video because Brian has been wanting to do another cooking video since our first cooking video. Yeah. So today we are going to be making one of our favorite meals, I would say. It's actually very clean. We are on the first week of our eight week challenge. I'm gonna be uploading a video about my preparations for that on Friday. But this meal just happens to be very clean. It is gluten-free, soy-free, dairy-free. It is very delicious. Sucker-free. Oh! It's, very, it's actually very easy. It might seem complicated just because there's a lot of moving parts, but really what we're doing is we're putting together um, kind of like a broth. We're making kind of like this soba noodle salad and then the ponzu sauce, which is homemade, but everything is really easy to make. Um, this will be your first time making it, right? Yeah. All right, let's do it. So this is from one of my favorite clean eating books called Clean Eats. It is on page 146 if you would like to follow along. So what we are doing, oh no, where's my soba? We are boiling water. So these are soba noodles. They are buckwheat noodles, um, kosher, organic. So we have the water boiling. Why don't you go ahead and put the soba noodles inside? And we're just gonna cook the soba noodles to the package instructions, which are what? Hey Siri, set the timer for four minutes. Okay, four minutes and counting. Cool, so while we're doing that, we're gonna go ahead and make the accoutrements for the salad. Accoutrement. We have some carrots, daikon, and we have some radish. Uh, which one do you wanna cut? Do you wanna get another cutting board? So basically what you want to do is kind of slice these into really small, um, kind of like, kind of like this. So actually just take this and then just peel. go, just peel it, but we're going to peel them into small little pieces like this. Yeah, it says to like julienne it, but the, um, what's it's it called julienne. is, the potato peel potato. is just faster. And then we're going to take three of these radish eye, and I have to rinse it, I didn't rinse it yet. Ew! This is actually a really great meal to like meal prep as well because all you have to do is like pre-slice everything. That's kind of what takes the longest. So I have the radish and I'm just going to thinly slice it because um, you don't want it to be too chunky while everything else is like nice and thin. Oh, runaway carrot. Oh man. So we're slicing it really thin. Okay. Honey, stop! Yeah, these carrots are... Good thing I have honey! It's <laughs> flying carrots. Honey, I feel like you're gonna cut yourself. Just do it. Quick. Cut yourself with a peeler. And as always, we have our compost bin right here and we put it in the free freezer and that way it won't get all yucky until we have to go to the compost pile to later, which I already did today, so. You know it'd be easier if you just put it like on the Oh my god. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Just put it like this. Oh. Four minutes is up. Okay, so what we're gonna do is drain this with the strainer and we're gonna run it under cold water. So one, it stops the cooking and two, we want cold soba noodles. So does it seem like it's not as hot? Yeah. Okay, just leave it in the sink for now. And we're gonna let the let it drain because we don't want that excess like water in the salad. So I just went into our garden and got some cilantro and some green onions. I am just going to roughly chop the cilantro, which by the way, we use cilantro a lot in cooking, which is why I started the garden, but seems to be a very hard herb to keep alive because it's always dying. However, I keep on trying. Okay, so in, well, I'll do the cilantro last. Okay, we have our soba noodle. Perfectly cooked, honey. 
his hands, do magic. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, so we're gonna just do a little sprinkling of sesame oil. Okay, that might have been a little bit more than a sprinkling. So we have some roasted sesame seed. I think I got it at the Chinese market. So I'll just go. And then I'm gonna throw in our cilantro. And then we're mixing it up like so. Well done, honey. Ah. Fire. So now we're gonna do the poaching liquid for the fish. Can you get out the big little thingy? So we're gonna use a big pot and Brian's gonna add four cups of water to it. Big pot, big lid. Two bay leaves into the four cups of water. One like kelp situation. So here's a little kelp. I got this at um, Whole Foods, I believe. Add a little bit more. So do three cloves of garlic. And then we're going to do two tablespoons of ginger. And then the easiest way to remove the like really? outer thing of the ginger is to just take a spoon and just scrape it off. One lemon. By the way, this little tulip thingy we use a lot. Can I chop this? Mince it? Uh, that's fine. Just smash it. Smash it up. Smash it up. Okay, and then two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. We use this a lot in cooking as well. And we're just gonna do two tablespoons, looks like this. <laughs> cool. That's two tablespoons. Yeah, it'll simmer. It'll simmer pretty quickly, and then once it simmers, that's when we will transfer the fish into, very gently, into the simmering water. And now we're almost done, guys. It's time for the ponzu, which you really like. Half a cup of wheat-free tamari. Coconut aminos is also good if you want like a wheat gluten-free version of soy sauce. They're all in that cabinet. What else? Rice wine vinegar, which we have. Fourth a cup of water. Lime juice, which we have. And we're doing some grated ginger. So again, take your spoon and um, Scrape off the skin. Honey, that's way more than a fourth of a cup. I don't know, I thought it would just be it. Because we always run out of ponzi. Oh, you want to make more? Okay. Try to get me. And then I'm going to take my grater and just grate the ginger. Because we want it really fine. We don't really want big chunks of ginger in our ponzi sauce. I'm going to thinly slice the green onions. Scallions, right? Yes. Green onion and onions. Want to mix it? And that's it. That's the ponzu sauce, guys. And it's really easy, so you can like add more flavor to it if you want, but it's already pretty flavorful. Okay, is it simmering? I think I hear it simmering. What does simmer look like? It's not boiling, it's just like rumbling. Yeah? Yeah, that's a simmer. It's time for the hardest part of this entire recipe. So we easily did the soba uh, salad, and then we made the ponzu. And now it's time to poach the fish, with, which sometimes I get right, sometimes I don't, because I don't exactly know how long to poach it without it overcooking. What should you look at? Ooh. Well, it says five to six minutes. And the tricky part about this is to not one overcook it and then also to get it in and out of the pot without breaking it. So be very gentle. So I just throw it in there? I mean, don't throw it in there, just place it in there. Skin side down or? It doesn't matter, it's being poached. Okay. Be careful. Okay, five minutes and counting. Five minutes later. Oh, perfect. Okay, now gently take it out. How? That's that's the trick. Is it cooked or is it raw in the middle? 
Embarrassing. <laughs> Honey, open it. Is it cooked or is it raw? It's raw. See, that's the problem. Poaching fish is so confusing to me. Take two. It doesn't need that much time now. Also want to take the time to mention that the Adopt Don't Shop merch, the Friends merch is sold out and we still have, I think, one extra small and a couple larges and extra larges in the I Prefer Your Dogs. And I actually saw one of my girlfriends wear the Prefer Your Dogs in a large and she's a very tiny, tiny woman and it looked really cute. Yeah. She tucked it in, it was like baggy. Yeah, you girls can, you ladies can do that, so. You know when sometimes you're just really hungry and you're at a restaurant waiting for your food and you just like start tasting the soy sauce thinking that it's going to soothe your appetite? They're all like, no. Nah. You know, you know what I'm talking about. You just pour out the soy sauce, stick your finger in it, lick it off. Keep on doing that until your food comes. I can't be the only one who does that. Okay, we finally did it. So now, gently place the fish onto your daikon salad. Yum. So Yum. Good. Whatever. Yeah, get the bones. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and be careful of bones depending on what fish you pick. And then pour your ponzu sauce all over it. Yum. Bon appetit. Bon appetito. Mm. Fish is good. Soba salad is good. Ponzu is good. We're gonna finish lunch. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed. Comment on what you think we should make next. Mm-hmm. Or if you even fuck with this type of video. Okay. Bye.